It's Tommy Little. Ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing? Are you good? It's nice to see you all. I uh, got to do a bit of traveling last year. I, I went to Spain. Oh my God. Sexiest people in the world in Spain. You know what dances they all know in Spain? Salsa, rumba. A little bit of salsa, rumba. Luckily I was equipped with the one dance we all learnt growing up here. Bit of fucking nut bush, there you go. <laughs> you want to dance? Good luck getting close enough. <laughs> and the food they eat, it's delicious tapas paella. Yeah, that's right, I just said paella. <laughs> and I can tell you're a nice theatre crowd. <laughs> you didn't even flinch. <laughs> you're like, that's probably the correct pronunciation. <laughs> Say that at a footy club and they're like, you mean paella, dickhead? <laughs> It's tap ass and paella. <laughs> Jeez, tap ass sounds violent, doesn't it? <laughs> sounds like I ate a dodgy paella and it gave me tap ass. <laughs> Most exotic treat I got growing up here was when my mum stuck her head into my room one day before school and she said, Tomo, got a bit of a treat for your lunchbox. It's a French treat, it's called a little snack. <laughs> I shouldn't give my mum too much grief, but I did only find out one year ago, at the ripe old age of 30, that the Ribena berry, <laughs> not a real berry. <laughs> On the language, oh my gosh. The language, I can believe you meet someone, you say, hey, how you going? And that's fine, right, but it's not sexy. I learnt one sentence in Spanish, and it's me parafe que tango candreas. Me parafe que tango candreas. And it literally means, I think I might have thrush. But how good does it sound? <laughs> Don't just be like, thrush me up. <laughs> you can stick it in my candy ass. <laughs> Maybe it's not even the language. Maybe it's just the accent. That's how a doctor should give you bad news. <laughs> it's like, I'm terribly sorry, sir, but you have thrush. I'll just be like, shut up and kiss me. <laughs> be like, I'm not going to do that because I just told you that you have thrush. <laughs> I did experience some racism, ladies and gentlemen. I experienced some racism in this very city. Went to a Chinese restaurant with two of my best friends. We went in, sat down, waitress come straight over to us, boom, boom, boom. Three dishes in front of us. I looked at her and I said, I haven't even looked at the menu yet. She looks down at my face and she goes, no, no, I know what you want. <laughs> yeah, well, I said, no, no, I've never been here before. She looks down and she repeats, she goes, no, no, white boy, I know what you want. <laughs> yeah. I was outraged. Outraged, ladies and gentlemen. And then I looked down at the dishes and it was satay chicken, Mongolian beef and sweet and sour pork. And I was like, you have nailed it. <laughs> I had one question, I was like, excuse me. And she's like, three forks. And I was like, yes, please. <laughs> Thanks, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great night. Take care, cheers.